Hi my friends, welcome for coffee with Christianity for dummies like me. It is coming to session number two. And I start with scripture again. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. 2 Timothy 1.7 so in this session, I would like to start talking about spoken and, and, and the, 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 he gave us the power of love and sound mind, right? And so the, the, the words are so important, what, what is said about us and what we say about us and what God is saying about us. Start saying what God says about you in his word. Words matter, especially when they are God's words. Look around you. Everything in creation was first a word that was thought and spoken by God. Then God said, let there be. And it was so. Genesis 1, 14 to 15. His words contain the power of who he is so when you believe and speak god's word you are connecting with his mighty creative spoken world why is it necessary to speak god's word and not just think firstly because hearing yourself speaking god's word is a powerful reinforcer. It is make it stronger, it's declaring. Secondly, because you remember what you recite, you remember what you say, you speak it up, you hear yourself, you remember better. Thirdly, because the enemy hears you. When Jesus spoke God's word to Satan in the wilderness temptation, he fled in Matthew 4, 11. Act on what God says about you. Act upon it. Do it. God has given you a sound mind. He has given you sound mind. That means you are a good thinker. You are not stupid. You can think for yourself. You don't need to somebody tells you something. You can think it through. Now, if you really believe that, what would you do that you are not doing right now? How big a step of faith would you be willing to take? God has given you the ability to love. If you really believe that, how would you demonstrate your love for God and others? Would you begin or a regime giving to your church, the tithing or whatever? Would you forgive someone who has hurt you? Would you serve others instead of being self-absorbed? Yes, love. Okay, same thing, it is with your mind. Nothing builds your faith like acting on God's word. Take these steps and it will change the way you believe about yourself and God's word. He's declaring who you are. He's declaring uh, who he is, that you can grab that and run with it. It's the most loving, kind, beautiful, relational, personal, intimate God. You know, so many times I, I uh, drive to the hill on, on top of a uh, cliff uh, on, the, on, the, on the ocean and I am there alone I scream out who I am in God or who God is to me how 
uh, I feel about, what is happening. I speak it out. I yell it out so many times. I scream it because that empowers you. You know, when we sing a loud song, we feel better. This everything is open. So declare the word of God and it becomes a truth in your life. If you need it, I need it for myself, you need it, and that's how your faith is built. Declare His word about you. Do not listen what the, the, the enemy is telling you. Do not listen to what people who, who are spitefully about you. Do not read your social media crap when they speak in uh, rubbish. Don't read the stories which are absolutely useless. Read the stories which God's word declare. You and I, we need God's word. We cannot be non, not crazy without God's word. It's powerful, it's like two edged sword. It will cut right through the so close that is between the bone and marrow. Bone is strength, marrow is the blood. Strength in Christ by shedding his blood. You know, Jesus died for all, everything we are doing. Jesus died for, for, for your uh, weaknesses. Jesus died for your sin. Jesus died for, your, for, for yours and mine uh, addictions and, and, and sickness and diseases. He was bruised by, uh, uh, that we might be healed. And then when he died, after three days, he rose from the dead and he became a full open doors accessing to the Father. You know, by now, if you follow me through all these videos, you slowly would come to the point where you need to understand that there is God. And now we should start taking the steps towards, not just knowing there is God, but include Him in our life. Include Him in your heart. You know, there is a simple, scripture if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that jesus christ rose from the dead you shall be saved romans 10 verse 9 i think i put it here somewhere okay make sure if it's wrong what i'm saying it will be written here okay now i would like to lead you today to invite jesus christ into your life when i did it it was the most beautiful moment life-changing moment in my life so could you repeat after me a sort of confession and invitation of Jesus Christ into your life? Please repeat after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. I have sinned so many years. I have done things wrong, knowingly or not knowingly, just because I was moved by the world, by things around me. Today, I recognize that's not the way to live. So I'm asking you, Lord Jesus, forgive me my sins and cleanse me from all unrighteousness. I invite you into my heart and declaring that you become a Lord over my life. I surrender my life to you and my heart is open. You live in me, in Jesus' name. Welcome to the kingdom of God. Welcome to eternity. Welcome to the partnership with living God. Welcome to a new life. From this day forward, you just seek and declare the against the principalities and powers and people around you who are not with you and saying things against you and even your own thoughts. Declare it loudly by faith and boldly that it's not true. True is what God says about you. You are my child and I created you in perfect, and yeah, I bring you back to that perfection. So that's for today. Hopefully you have something out of it. Please describe, uh, subscribe, sorry, to this channel, and uh, uh, in the in comments, make some comments that I know what, what I am doing. Please don't just listen uh, and, and watch, but do the comment, put the, thumb up for me that uh, I have now that I have done the good thing as well and criticism I'm open as long as it's constructive please don't be rude to me I'm learning too I'm child of God too I need him too so be merciful and forgiving and loving same as I love you 
and so you have a great time. Until next time, next video will be number three. Bye.